Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this drawing, pretty cool, but they want to take away these and put balls. They want five balls. I don't know what it's going to represent, but the easiest way to do this to find out what size ball you have, most of the time there is a center between those two nodes. If we take the lips tool and it's going to go right there to the midpoint, hold down the shift and the control button, it'll grow from the outside and then you can make it, you know, if you want to make it exactly that size, now we're taking away this joint, but that doesn't really matter. And then just plus key on the keyboard and take that one and go to the middle, plus key on the keyboard, go to the middle, plus key on the keyboard, go to the middle, plus key on the keyboard. This is really easy. Then select it all and weld it and you get that shape. Now, I don't know what that represents. Um, it's a pretty cool design. Um, there's a lot you could do with this. Um, just playing around, If I like playing around. If we left click, right click, and if we could rotate this from the center, let's, um, let's do this, let's move this one out of the way. Let's get our indexing lines and hit P and P. And then take this round part and see if we can't, if it will not, see how it's snapped to the center, it's snapped to object, because we've got snap to object on. And then you could take this item and double hit the control D and duplicate it and move the rotation of the center. A lot of times it doesn't look like it is, but it is. And then you could find out how many times you'd have to yeah, this thing, well, you know what? 110, but the other ones are going to not work out because uh, that's even off right there. But uh, you, there's a lot, you know, one, if you just wanted two of them, control D and make a duplicate. And then while holding down the control button, mirror that and then just have this thing, grab it and have it snap to that one. Um, you might have to grab it right in the center. You know what? Our circles are a little bit off. Uh, now I wish I hadn't even tried this. So what you want to do in, in that case is you want to grab a square. Well, there's really no duplicate square. So our, maybe our circles aren't perfect. That would really work is what you could do is just take the virtual segment delete key and you can't do that. Um, let's try this. Let's try go into object and group it together for a second. See if we can't take the virtual segment delete key and delete that line. See the indexing line actually stopped it. Now we've got a little bit of two lines there, but if we take the smart fill tool and fill that in, we don't have that problem anymore. If we left click, right click now, see these double lines that are just a little bit thicker on one side, the smart fill tool fixed that. So I'm not saying that's what he wants to do, but uh, that's how you would put balls on it. Hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.